Hello, hello, hello. It is your girl Daz with me, 77. And I am back with another video. Y'all look at all this deliciousness in this screen. What? Okay. So I just want to say welcome back to all of you. Thank you so much for the support and love of my channel. Thank you to those of you that give me ideas, hints, uh, just everything that you do to help me grow as a purse lover. I was chatting with someone earlier and they were like, oh, you know so much about coach. No, I'm just learning, but I just know I love the brand, but I really thanked her for the compliment. There is so much to learn about purses, but I think once you find your brand, you find it. You just find it. And you guys know I love Coach. Even before the hype, I always find my way back to Coach. So as y'all can see in front of y'all, it is a common trend in this group. I have been trying to get together my formal bag collection. And y'all, I really want to say it's complete. It is beyond complete. But I wanted to share with y'all the showstoppers for me and some of the bags that I have in my collection. More importantly, the beginning of my tabby collection. Um, I just want to share with you guys what I like, why I picked them out, and why these pieces have such an integral part in my collection. Um, I'm also going to show you what fits, which is what everybody wants to know is what fits. And again, this is for someone who carries a little heavy for some, but for others, not as much. It really just depends on what you're looking at. Now, I will tell you for me, these bags are not everyday bags. Probably the Eliza could be, but I wouldn't carry it. Well, I did carry that one every day. Let me just get into it, okay? So as you guys know, Coach just came out with this beautiful color, the dragon fruit, right? So we're gonna look at her first because she's holding the contents. But I just, I can't take all this deliciousness out the screen. So before we get started, these are my keys to go with that. I got that cute little black bow and I have my Victoria's Secret wristlet. So it's so nice. I will tell you if I was carrying these bags out and I was with my husband, nine times out of 10, I would take my key fob off and just put it in the bottom of the bag. I would not carry all of this, okay? This is just to show y'all how dazzle be, you know, how I be dazzling, you know. <laughs> And this right here is my phone case. Of course, I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max. Um, I like this because it's a flush case, even though it does have the little stand on it. I love for my bags to, um, well, my phones to be able to slide into my work pocket or into a bag relatively easy. This right here is a crossbody strap in that dragon fruit. And as y'all can see, it's a pretty thick strap and it's very, very nice. Um, before I get into the bag, we, we're just going to look at her, okay? I feel like it, it should be a song playing. You know, after coming to America, she's your queen to be. I feel like that what should be playing with this bag right here. It is gorgeous. Y'all look at that tag and the color. Y'all see the details on that chain. Come on with it, coach. Oh my gosh. And y'all, she is stuffed. But it's an organized stuffed. And she has that slip pocket on the back. I do want to show you guys that even though I have her stuffed, that my phone case will still fit in there. Um, I'm not a person who likes to carry my phone this way. And as you can see, when I put her down that way, there is a little indentation, but not much. I am one of those people that like to carry my phone like this because I just want to pull it and keep it going. Potato, potato, whatever you love, right? But this case is so cute. I forgot where I got it from. It's going to be probably either Shein or Amazon. It's really still hard to find the um, 14 Pro Max cases, 
but as the iPhone progresses through the numbers, it's a little bit easier, but I just love all that bling on there. All right. So y'all already saw traditional tabby setup, and I know everybody is like, Dazzle, I'm surprised you picked the traditional tabby. Now, let me tell y'all why. So over the past two years, as I've been curating my collection, I've noticed I will collect the same bag, <laughs> just different colors. I want to add all the different tabbies to my collection. That was my first tabby, which was the shoulder bag. The tabby 26 was my second, and this was my third tabby. I do, at first I said I wasn't going to, but y'all, I'm going to add that jelly tabby, especially since it's on sale. The one I really want is the clear with the C, but it's not on sale. And I know it's not going to be a bag that I carry all the time. So I was watching another channel. It made so much sense. This is the time to try the bag, but try the colored bags. Because you know, your traditional blacks, clears, beiges, and all those colors hardly ever go on these sales. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get it because it is on sale in black. And so I will be showing you guys what that look like. But that silver one is fire. So let's get into it. Say, Dazzle, stop talking. Okay, I will. So this is what she looks like, y'all. She is packed, but she is not overly packed, okay? Um, I am gonna tilt her a bit for you guys. So I have my um, little Notique planner there to assist. But we're just gonna start taking stuff out. And what I'm gonna do is put it to the side so we can see how it fits in the other bags, okay? So right here, I have my Mentos Pure Gum. Y'all can't go nowhere without my tongue. So girls, I be SB acting up. Now this right here, I could go a lot smaller. And honestly, I don't really need this. So a lot of us handbag lovers talk about security. I just got to have security, y'all. I can't escape it. So this is one of the Army 2 pouches that is from Amazon. It is the black with the... um pewter hardware on it. It is so beautiful, y'all. Um, in the front, y'all look how many cards it holds. So let me tell you, them is not credit cards because Dazzle would not be on, on YouTube. You hear me? I got that much credit. We got some problems. So anyway, it's credit cards, bank cards, business cards, gift cards. It's all kind of cards in here. And y'all, I know it's at least 40 cards in here, at least. So I have that in the front. And then in the back, I have cash, and then I have change at the bottom. So I love carrying this when I'm on vacation, when I'm just going somewhere and I don't want to carry my big wallet. This carries all of that then some. Still has a relatively small profile for it to hold so much, and it is so perfect for bags like this. And as you can see, it took up a large majority of that bag. So if I were to carry this every day, I probably wouldn't put that in there, and y'all see how much easier it was for me to close that. You see that? So y'all, y'all ready? Y'all ready? I got the card case, y'all, from Amazon. Look at this. Look at this. Y'all. Y'all. This is so beautiful. So I will say Coach's card case is very roomy. Has three slots on the front, three slots on the back. Has Coach ingrained right here embossed on the back. You have the raised C here. And if I needed to, I could still put something in there. I just have the card that goes to the wallet. But that is what I chose to go with with this bag um, because it is a more slimmer profile bag. You don't want to carry too, too much, right? So I'm going to put everything here so y'all can see as we're doing it because I am going to switch stuff out. All right. So the rest of this stuff, I'm just going to pull out so you can see. I have this pill case and y'all, she been, she been holding up. I got her from Shein, I want to say, but 
she's holding up, but y'all see that this is totally different than a lot of them we were having problems with. And I just have Motrin and allergy pills. And listen, this one has a hard snap to it, okay? Just pink glitter. I still have my Chanel mirror inside. I've been doing my mirror. I've been doing, being a big girl and using my mirror instead of my iPhone. Because, girl, I will pull my iPhone out in a minute and check everything. So we have that. And then everything kind of goes in a row. Again, this is the Vaseline All-Purpose Hand Cream. If you know, you know. My new love, this Milani lip gloss. And this is in the Prismatic Peach, which is number three. Now, I could have went with the smaller gloss or either a lip balm. But now that I am able to enjoy my lip, balm, my lip gloss more, um, I'm going to wear lip gloss every chance I get. I have my Perfumes de Marley, the Meloria. Y'all, this smells so so good. So, so, so good. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's M-E-L-I-O-R-A. This smells so good. Y'all see how much I've used already. Then y'all look at this. Isn't this cute? So this came from the Dollar Tree. Um, Let me show y'all everything I have in here because I was a little bit amazed. I was like, Dazzle, you doing your big one. So I have another... Um, uh, lip gloss. This is the Juicy Twos by Lancome. And this is in Frambe. I like this too. This to me feels like Vaseline though. I have a hair tie for my locks. I have a pair of contacts. And inside of here, I have some clippers and some bobby pins. Y'all, these locks, as they are growing, these things is hot. I didn't even think about that. But they are getting hot, so I keep that in there so I can um, change it out. But isn't that pretty, y'all? All right. So what else I got? I have my iWalk charger, and I have my Touchland Black Pink. Inside the zipper part, I hardly ever use this, but I decided to. I have my Brahmin pen because it is so tiny, y'all. And this is a twist pen. I have my check registers and I have three of them. Um, I do cash stuffings with bank cards. I know a lot of people do it with regular cash. I do mine with different bank cards. So that way, um, I just keep up with things better. Then in this pocket right here, because as you can see, you have a pocket here, pocket here, the zipper pocket. I don't have anything here, but in this pocket right here, because it's so small and flush, I have a mask. I have one Clorox wipe, one feminine wipe, one hand wipe, a wet one, and I have a lens cleaning wipe. And that's all that's in there, okay? So she is completely empty. Let me show you something else that I noticed with this bag. I know a lot of people when they buy this bag will probably get some type of chain or um, something to embellish it. I found that it's so much better if you put the chain on the strap, okay? And I'm going to show you why. Y'all see how pretty that hangs on the bag? But it's the chain on the strap, not on the side. If you put it on the side, let me show you what happens. First of all, let me spin it around so y'all can see again. So y'all see what it looks like on the strap. Kind of puts a nice V right on the front of the bag. Y'all see it's not really impending anything on here. Got your nice strap. But when you put it... When you put it on the side, I just feel like it doesn't hang real pretty. And then also you have to, it gets caught up in the strap. You see it kind of hangs low. So it just depends on how you want it to look. But you see how it hangs? And you have to really put it up front so it doesn't mess with your carry. 
But I prefer, instead of it hanging like this, I prefer for it to look like this. You see that? So it's actually in front of the bag. I like that a little bit better. Okay, so we're gonna go through these real quickly. I don't wanna take nothing out because y'all, this is some eye candy for you. So like I said, this was my very first tabby. This is a tabby shoulder bag. I have carried her as an everyday bag. You'll see some wrinkling. You'll also see it at the top, but that's just normal wear. I'm not a person that gets upset about that. Um, it's gonna do that because if you're opening and closing this flap, you're gonna have some stuff. Leathery skin, I probably could do some conditioner to make sure it doesn't get bad, but that's that. I've had this bag a little over, I got it last year. I got it last year for my anniversary, y'all. It was so nice. Um, but it has that hardware that a lot of people don't like because it chips, but I love it. I love, y'all know y'all give me black on black on black on black, and, and I'm going to take it every time. Um, there's not a whole lot of chipping at the top, but there is a little bit on here, okay? So I be hearing videos, and they be acting like the chipping is like where the bag isn't even where you want to not carry it no more. I mean, to each his own, um, but you know how that goes. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It does come with the strap as well. And I want to show you what that stuff looks like in here. And I'm going to tell you why Dazzle, I didn't say everybody, Dazzle prefers a bag that has a slip pocket, uh, the zipper pocket in mm -hmm. the middle. I prefer this zipper pocket because it provides organization. And when you pull something out, everything doesn't just kind of cave in. So I will show you what this bag looks like. Now this bag does come with a zipper pocket and I wanna show y'all what was so cute. Um, Cause it was for my anniversary. We got it with my August 1st, established 1998. That's when I got married. And I love this. We had so much fun that day getting that personalized. But there is a pocket right here in this bag. Now, this one is going to be a little bit easier for me to show y'all how I have it packed. But I'm going to show you. For me, I would take all the things that I had in that outside pocket. I would probably put this inside of a little pouch just because I hate stuff roaming around in my bag. And as y'all can see, look at this. I probably will put my card case inside of that zipper compartment just for an added layer of security. Let's see if it will go in there and it will zip. So it's in there and it zips. So you can get a card case and put that in there and it does zip fine. Now y'all see this? So I'm going to tell you off top, this shoulder bag definitely fits more than the Tabby 26. Y'all see this? And I'm just putting it inside of here. And y'all see how much more room I have? So if you're looking for an on-the-go bag um, or a formal bag, this Tabby um, shoulder bag would work really well. It is bigger than the Tabby um, 26, the hard one. Okay? So you see that they're relatively, this bag, you can tell it is bigger, but they're both pretty small. This also has a zipper pocket on the back. Um, I never put my phone all the way in, but it does fit all the way in and it does zip up. So it just depends on what your forte is, but I did carry this bag um, for almost a week and a half. And it was no problem. So the next thing is to see, does the hard tabby and the soft tabby carry the same? So again, this one has the same kind of setup. Um, let's just take all this stuff out because I do want to show you guys exactly how everything fits. 
because I know when I'm looking for stuff, that's like the major thing I'm looking for. It's like, how does it fit? And if you got to do a whole bunch of moving this and moving that and you move this and everything falls, I, I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't want it. So, ooh, that kind of slid down in there real easy, y'all. So that that is a difference. I don't know if it's because this leather is softer, but I have that inside of there. And I'm going to set it up just like I had it in here. So I have the big pouch in the back. And I think I had it sitting flat. Yes, because I had the gum on top. Have my touch lens right here. I have my lotion. Y'all, I think this bag is bigger. So if you're contemplating between the quilted tabby and the harder tabby, I really think the quilted tabby is bigger. I thought it would be just because of the squishiness, but let's see. All right, I put, oh yeah, it's it's bigger. I don't even know what to do. Now I'm getting confused. I have that. I have my lip gloss, my perfume. I have this pouch in there. In the back, I have my charger. I have my mirror. Y'all look at how much room I got in here. Lord. So if you're looking for room, go ahead and get the the quilted tabby because I did not realize it was this much of a difference but there is um and you see I'll just take my pen and put it here and see I just bought this bag I know everybody was thinking I was going to get a tabby 33 I love the 33 but I have a Kurt Geiger that looks just like it and my husband just bought it I'm putting these pout um little wipes out here and i i'm not looking for an everyday bag i knew i wouldn't just for formal so that's why i didn't get the 33 because my kurt geiger is the same exact form and bag y'all this quilted one is bigger because look at this even when i go to close it it closes easier wow so that was our opening for me okay lucy but I guess when you look at it, yeah, this one is smaller. And then the quilting. So the Tabby 26 quilted holds more than the Tabby, the traditional Tabby. I'm not upset that I got it in my collection. And you see how easy my phone, did y'all see that right there though? Ooh, look at that black and silver. Yes, please. Yes, please. And I wanted silver, and I got it. I'm so happy with this bag. Um, I carried it on the cruise, and I promise you, everywhere I went, someone was like, oh, your bag is so pretty. Your bag is so pretty. I was like, thank you. And then, you know, when you're on the cruise, you're like, okay, do they not have this bag where they at? Um, because they were really acting like it was brand new. But I guess in the purse community, we just kind of get to look at bags a little bit sooner because we own it. Do you hear me? We own it. So I'm going to put her up there since we are kind of done looking at her for right now. And then my newest, the Eliza. Y'all, this is an outlet bag. And when I got her, I was like, yes, ma'am, you are it. You are it. And I did get her in the chalk the taupe and the black, and this is the light green. I love this bag. Now, I would carry this bag every day, but I wanted to show y'all what it looks like. And y'all know I'm extra, so I'm about to take that chain off and put it in here. So this is what the inside of this bag looks like. And just to show y'all what it holds, okay? Like, Sometimes I used to be so afraid of these little bitty bags like this because I was like, there is no way. Look at how big that is. I was like, there is no way I'm going to be able to carry everything I need in that bag. Even with this one, who would have thought all this stuff would have fit in here? And I still got room. Look there. I still got room to add stuff in there. 
So I'm going to take all this stuff out and we're going to see how the Eliza just swallows all this stuff up because I know she is going to. So with that being said, I'm chit-chatting with y'all while I'm changing this out. One of the goals that I have now that I really think Coach is my brand, y'all. I love Coach. Now, could I become one of those people that only buy Coach? I asked my husband what he thought, and he was like, I don't know, Shonda. Um, I think possibly I could, but I don't think I would want to because I think the temptation to buy other bags will really be blaring at me like, come buy me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Coach is my brand. I love Coach. No matter what bag I get, I feel like I'm constantly um, comparing it to Coach. I'm like, well, Coach has this. Coach always makes sure they have matching accessories. The unboxing experience with Coach is like da 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 da. So it's always a comparison with Coach for me. So yeah, let's go ahead and put this in here. Um, like I said, I do want to add, where's my card case, y'all? I left the card case in here. I do want to add the Jelly Tabby to my collection, and I want to add the um, Pillow Tabby. I was afraid of the Pillow Tabby because she's so puffy, but I've been watching some videos. Definitely, I would get the 26 with her, though. Um, but here we go. So I'm not usually a fan of slip pockets, but I am gonna put my card case back there. And you see it's not really affected. Y'all look how this bag gonna swallow this stuff. Look at this. So I'm gonna put that like that. Um, what else I had y'all? Cause this stuff gonna swallow in here. In the back, what did I have y'all? I had my mirror. I have my charger. We're going to go ahead and put my registers in here. Um, my pen. I'm going to put that in there. Y'all look at this. And so up here, I have my touch lens. I had the gum back here. I have my lotion, my lip gloss. I had my perfume kiss lock. Have my pill case back here. My tums. And have all these wipes. And y'all look at that. I still got a lot of room. So I told y'all this is an everyday bag. When I first unboxed this, y'all like lost my mind. So I could put my phone out here like that. Or I could put it like this. And y'all look how beautiful this bag is. So I did pick <laughs> this bag because she has silver hardware. And I wanted to see what this silver hardware was going to look like on the Eliza. I want, ooh. Y'all, come on, Dazzle. No, ma'am, ma'am. Y'all look at that. Ooh, yes, ma'am. That is so pretty. She got some weight to her though, y'all. That is so pretty. Y'all know I like a side view and I could do that with this bag as well. Um, I don't know that this bag look good with a side view. That's cute though, right? Ooh, that's sassy. With that little bitty um, coach tag right there. And oh, that's cute y'all so i hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as i had fun doing it of course it was featuring this beauty right here the new tabby 26 and dragon fruit this is the traditional tabby and as y'all can tell from this video if you are like me and formulating your formal bag collection um we all know from this video now that Miss Eliza holds the most, followed by the Coach Tabby shoulder bag, 
um, my coach quilted tabby and then the traditional coach tabby 26. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Leave some comments. What other tabbies are you considering? Um, do you have any of these? Which ones are your favorite and why? I look forward to chatting with you all. And remember, be good to others, but be even better to yourself because we cannot pour from an empty cup. Bye-bye.